Grandpa. Why are you looking at those pictures for so long? It's almost been five minutes that you've been staring at it. It brings back so many memories. A whole world. A forgotten world. A world that lives inside of you. A world that makes you who you are. You look much younger in the picture. How old were you there? I was only 14. The same age as you. <laughs> How old are you now, Grandpa? Old enough to say I've had an amazing life. Old enough, but not out of the game yet. Not even close. One of these days, I have to put these pictures in order. These are timeless windows of my life. Most extraordinary moments in eternity. My eternity. And that of all the people I've touched. How many countries have you traveled? I never thought of it, but many. I think there's about 160 countries in the world. It's at least 100. It's a long, long journey. Life is, Vicky. A long journey. Nothing more and nothing less. It can't be just a journey. There has to be something more. There has to be a reason. It's true. You're absolutely correct. There is a reason. A reason that gives meaning to the endless journey. So what is it? <laughs> I can only give you my reason. Knowledge, understanding, enjoyment, compassion, and love. There are more. Those are the reasons for my journey. You know so much. I wish I had your knowledge, your experience. But then it wouldn't be your trip. You have to have your adventure from your goals and everything. 
You remind me of Ulysses, mm. the ancient Greek king of Ithaca. I wish I could take you on a trip through my life. The people I've met, the places I've been, the experiences I've had. I love that poem. It goes like this. As you set out for Ithaca, hope the voyage is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery, Lystragonians and Cyclops, angry Poseidon. Don't be afraid of them. You'll never find things like that on your way. As long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body, Lystragonians and Cyclops, wild Poseidon, you won't encounter them unless you bring them along inside your soul, unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope the voyage is a long one. May there be many a summer morning when, with what pleasure, what joy, you come into harbors seen for the first time May you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things, mother of pearl and coral, amber and ebony, sensual perfume of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. And may you visit many Egyptian cities to gather stores of knowledge from their scholars. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you are destined for. But do not hurry the journey at all. Better, it lasts for years. So you are old by the time you reach the island. Wealthy, with all you have gained on the way, not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the marvelous journey. Without her, you would not have set out. She has nothing left to give you now. And if you find her poor, Ithaca won't have fooled you wise as you will have become, so full of experience, you will have understood by then what these Ithacas mean. I wish someday I'd have such a wonderful journey like yours. You will. But remember, no matter where you go, how hard you fail, or how much you succeed, Ithaca will always be there for you, to embrace you and love you unconditionally. You will go to many places, meet many people, and experience extraordinary things. And Ithaca will always be there in your heart. No matter what.